Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello. Ah! This is a new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. I this is episode you me that one. <laughs> 030. And today we're talking about AI or artificial intelligence. Kale sent me a, a text earlier and it said, I, I, I. And I was like, what the hell is that? I was like, like, Al? 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 Artificial so you were supposed to say AI, 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 AI. That's not what I said. I was looking, <laughs> I was looking for a, a what do you call it, the uh, suppository for my son, and I get a text, and it says AI, AI, AI. And I know what's going on. Watching English soccer or something. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, our sponsor today is T-Bot for Mask, one Mask of the very the first artificial intelligences body, that the boy would the ride on in Mask. Little toy. New I have no mask. idea what you're talking about. Yeah, well, too bad. Look at Mask up. was definitely an 80s toy that only survived a couple of years. Yeah, they. they uh, Much the series did too. That whole line. Yeah, it was. Hey, they it, were made by Kenner, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Mm-hmm. It was. Wow. It was. They had cars that kind of transformed into weaponized cars and vehicles. Yeah, yeah it's hard like to explain. a car. But with, the key, with the gold key wings, piece, and when it opens up, it can fly for some reason. Yeah, it would convert a car into a jet. But the, the key, the key piece was uh, mask mobile armored strike command. Wow. Was uh, a group command of people. With a K? What, what's going on there? Yeah. Okay. I think so. <laughs> All right. But they, they'd have a mass that would have like a, a power. So whether it be that see too. through rocks or blast things or I don't know, Microwave play music. Dinner, that kind of stuff. Bruce Sato. A Bruce Sato. What kind of engineer? Vehicle code name Rhino. Oh, Rhino. Maybe this since since um, we brought up mask far too many times. I know, and since since it's this is since bad. it's come up, it's going to be the pre ramble. Pre ramble, pre ramble. Okay, for those of you out there who don't know what mask is, this should explain it quite well. So, this is an explanation. Of ma- I'm waiting for the advertisement on YouTube. Stop. For mask. I was wondering why. <laughs> I was gonna say, the explanation on mask looks like a Samsung S3 or an S4. Hey, where's the sound? What the hell? Oh, probably I should unmute the sound. Yeah. Got to move it up. Looks like. Dude. You know, grab it and move it. Yep. Command with the K. Yeah. Paul was right. It's amazing. Dude. Dude. Right. After this, you need oh, to load. Oh, it sideways. You need, to yeah. load, you need to load the intro to pull position. After Here we this. go. Oh. I'm tripping. <laughs> That's it's horrible. It's the robot chicken one. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, T-Bot. Hey, T-Bot. 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 <laughs> Whose mask is this? I Why do we call that. these masks, by the way? This is a helmet, not a mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can see now why I didn't uh, remember this at all. Yeah. <laughs> So that was the Brie Rebel. It was a, it was a horrible toy. Well, the the, the no, series, the, the, yeah, the series was you know you had Venom with the bad guys, with the bad guys, which, which stood for something. Yeah, Very it enormous. was basically like how can we rip off Cobra without directly yeah. doing so. And so uh, you had the bad guys versus good guys, you know, typical yeah. '80s mm. cartoon. But then this, uh, this, I don't know if it was the second series, second season, or what. It moved into mask racing. Because they want a different type of toys. This is and the actual was, uh, bad guys and you guys actually just racing like NASCAR oh, yeah. trying, like places, trying to kill each other but win a race. This is the actual non. Working overtime, fighting crime, 
Yeah, believe it or not, the theme song was the best thing about every yeah. one of it. <laughs> Which isn't saying much. See, he wrote him. <laughs> from behind. That's pretty perverted. He's only widening from behind there, you know. All right, uh, I thought the pre-ramble ended. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Save the day. Man, I remember when I got that for Christmas. You know, I've Christmas. been embarrassed when we talk about mask for all of three seconds up until now. And now you're part gonna... of us. Yes. No. Mask. Always <laughs> riding on, on Venom's train. train. All right. Should we just try to find every obscure damn cartoon based on a toy? Like, are we gonna find Laser Tag Academy next? Dun, dun, dun. I got a VHS of that. Home you do? Oh, yes. oh, Wait, I should bring Captain Power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I got a Captain Power tape too. Nice. Okay, we'll so that, that is really the end of the pre ramble, which we might actually cut out, Daryl, your choice. And by the way, <laughs> pre ramble. Pre ramble. We ramble, then it's pre. Did you notice Power? we had nothing for the pre ramble? Uh, yeah, not really. You know, I so have something to say about our podcast, about, though. Yes. About the thing is, is that. As this goes into the future, hundreds and hundreds of years, there's going to be billions and billions of people. There's going to be enough people that are interested in this podcast that it's going to live forever. And it's going to have a big group of people thousands of years from now listening to us and liking us. Okay, so this is what... This is what the world was like. No, 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 no. (laughs) These four guys. This is how idiotic people were. No, 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 no. If what KL says is true, then people listening to us in the future, at some point, if time travel exists, you must have invented it. So you are to come back to KL's apartment right now at this date... What are we? October 3rd, 2013. And say hi to us. It is what time? Six, seven, seven? I don't know. It is... Look uh, on your phone. 7.53. 7.54. Pacific time. Okay, so come here now. I felt nope. something. Never invented it. No, damn what it. If Never invented it, or it's impossible. Yeah, it couldn't be invented. Oh, well. Because uh, remember, that guy still hasn't uh, said anything since he was supposed to have... <laughs> oh, he said He something. farted <laughs> from the future! <laughs> All right. That's how much they liked us. They farted. Uh, All right. Artificial intelligence is our topic for today. So we should uh, find regular intelligence. Before we start this. Wouldn't hurt. We're looking for any intelligence in this podcast. Yeah. Well, let's start with the uh, the uh, idea of artificial intelligence. The definition. Uh, artificial intelligence is, of course, intelligence that is not our intelligence. I think is Homo the best way sapiens. Looking. Yeah, because the only or real not animal. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. maybe that's better to say because even though we've only found. Not Biological. Maybe. Yeah, that's better because uh, even though we've only found human level of this intelligence that's biological, uh, that was. I'm going to start. We might, we might develop <laughs> biological intelligence at some point, though. Right. But what I'm. Uh, let's see, that's a well, good here, point, too, from scratch. A, major AI researchers and textbooks define the field as the study and design of intelligent agents where an intelligent agent is a system oh, of procedures hey, we're nine minutes in we can start over and again takes actions like that maximizes that chances <laughs> of its success no this is this is so good so it's doing tasks All right. I, I think the way we have to define it is because uh, Daryl's right what if we figure out the best way to create artificial intelligence is using biology <laughs> okay well, I think what we're looking at is um Intelligence created by us. Inte- by intelligence other, created other, by, by other artificial inte- intelligence. Yes. Yeah. Well, intelligence created by other intelligence, I think, would probably yeah, be. Yeah, because that would include okay. in case we get our computers far enough that they actually create <clears throat> artificial intelligence. Well, the thing themselves. is, like, we can genetically modify existing animals. That doesn't mean we created the intelligence. That, that'd, be modif- that'd be artificial. No, that would be modified intelligence. Kind That's what I'm saying. That would be wrong. Well, you can do the whole idea <laughs> from, it would be. from from our tools. Or maybe. take a rat brain and plant it into a tea bot. But that's what, no, what I'm saying is no, no, no. The the idea is the humans have used tools uh, right. to create things and if we use those tools to create another intelligence then that so would be kind of artificial. So making intelligence from scratch. Kind of, but so of course it's not really going to be from scratch when it happens. It'll be based off of all the advances we've had up until then, but the idea is it wouldn't have existed without the tools that we've created ourselves. Have you ever so heard about that? Machine with machines with intelligence. Yes. 
It kind of depends that's a, where thank you, you want to draw the easy. lines. But that's that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good we're one. getting upon like a, a, a philosophical argument about where you start. Yeah, you know, and you that's ask, not a good a, way to start. <laughs> if you ask a physicist, how do you make pancakes from scratch? They say first create the universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, I think Paul. Thank you, Paul, for bringing us out. We're, we're all here going. Back. What <laughs> is the possible? What is life? And no, no, Paul is. It's machines that have intelligence, and machines are what we make as humans. So I think. That's machines fine. could be made out of made out of biological yeah, parts. Yeah, okay, be. fine. No, that's fine. <laughs> Created smart machines. So yeah. smart machines, and I think we should talk about uh, the done. the current definition, which was brought forth by uh, a guy named Turing, who uh, decided how to define artificial intelligence. And That'd most people in the AI Alan Turing, right? Alan is that his name? Yeah, yeah. Alan Turing. Most people in who are uh, enthusiasts of artificial intelligence go with this definition, which is when we as humans cannot differentiate, and this is the basic definition, mm -hmm. between who the artificial intelligence, whether it's human or not. Now, it, Turing went, say, had the Turing box, was it, right? And it wasn't, because mm -hmm. this was, I don't know, Turing was, what, in the 60s? And he, he, he said, <laughs> and he said, No? <laughs> no. And this says no? <laughs> 80s? <laughs> 50s. You know, we're in the middle of a podcast and, and Linda is buzzing me for for stuff that has nothing. I know. So you know, I say, I say, what? Well, I, I say, what was How the many six? pads do I have left? I, I say, what was it? The 60s? I look at Cal and he just he shakes just his head like, and rolls his eyes. I'm like, okay, it's not and, the 60s. And he didn't jump in. It's like, he's letting you go. I'm like, <laughs> so 70s? 70s? The 80s? He just actually um, oh, incriminated Kale, so now Linda's going to know that I mean, Kale, his eyes. Kale, and, uh, Kale did not roll his eyes. He had a uh, look of love in yeah. his eyes. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, Kale. Right. This is the Deep one I'll make sure she never hears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've incriminated yourself, so we're good. Yeah. So, uh, basically, but the basics is, if you can't tell that it is uh, created from, um, or if you can't tell that the intelligence Are was, we still on definitions? Yeah, because yeah. I'm talking. Someone else talking go. <laughs> Somebody else go. Somebody shorten this. <laughs> so, what did Alan Turing do? What, did, hey, what was his definition? Turing Who's Alan Turing? <laughs> So he died I'm in fifty four. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly. I think his that wasn't I mean, the he 60s, was very then. early with these ideas. Forties, yeah, um, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, the thing is, because, is okay, that the it, history it, of AI is the history of computers. Right. So and we computers can jump came past out of, that to where we are now, kind of. Computers were basically originally this designed modern AI. for yeah, um, modern AI, figuring out artillery trajectories like in the 1940s during the World War II. So when I was a kid, they were all calculated by when hand. I was a kid, my yeah. parents worked in my parents worked in computers, and I couldn't explain it. It was in the 80s and like my parent you know it wasn't a fireman or a fire firefighter firefighter or a police officer they worked at computers and people say well what's a computer and i had no way to to describe it until i got older which is it's basically a universal tool that's what a computer is so an artificially intelligent intelligent computer would be one which is thinking on its own now how would we judge that it's thinking on its own or it's just a very complicated program that's what turing had the problem with well it's, right. it's doing tasks but when you task, you know, our brain could be considered well, they, just a very complicated program. Well, we came program. up with, it, with that, what it, they call the Turing test. The Turing yeah, test, exactly. that was it. Yeah. Which basically said if, if we as humans cannot determine whether this is a, a machine or another intelligent being, it therefore well, is intelligent. Well, he usually discussed it as being, um, suppose you ask a question by writing it on a piece of paper, mm, mm. and you throw it inside of a box, and then this box spits out an answer for you. Now, basically what he's trying to do is he's saying, okay... You could have a control where there's a person in the box, and they write out the answer and they spit it out to the person, and or you have a machine inside that can generate the answer. It's not a little person; it's a big it box. Right, it's a large box. Yeah. So we're so we're, basically the idea is um, Just the idea of head. someday machines being Midget. able to interact with somebody in a way that's indistinguishable from ah, being another. Thank person. you. See, that's what you need to say while I was like blah 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 blah. And there blah, are blah. other aspects of it that. Um, like the, you can actually have that kind of thing cheat. Like you could have a set of canned answers, right? And just try to anticipate all the possibilities. But the problem with that is, if I go, "Hey, how are your lady parts doing today, Missy?" You know, you, but you could have a canned response for that. You know, like you if you try to figure out all the billions of possible so, things, like Siri. Okay, so, but you're right. you're you're talking on a hypothetical because that would obviously yeah. be more difficult, I think, than actually creating artificial intelligence. <laughs> eh. Mm? 
I mean, the extent. billions of possibilities be, of language. Well, the thing is, it wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. But that's what they do with Siri. That's artificial. But I think that the, the well, thing and, is, it's kind of like a the pure Watson. Jeopardy thing. Yeah. Like something like Siri can we'll seem like it's intelligent enough to pass the Turing test at times if you ask it the right questions. But the thing is, so much of what it responds are based on some rather simple algorithms, and yeah. they, they often feed you. But back. okay, so are, how 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 are we defining AI? Well, that's just that complete... if I if I if I was to go over to because uh, Connect is AI, right? Yeah. Well, there's different levels. True AI would be if I was to go over to uh, whatever and say, hey, how are your lady parts doing? And I say that to you, you'd be like, hey, I'm a guy. What do you mean lady parts? That has nothing to do with me. Right. The yeah. artificial intelligence would answer in some way where I would think they're human. That's like full artificial well, intelligence. Well, the thing is, um, machine intelligence usually does not have context mm -hmm. because there are ah, a lot of yeah. nuances with language. So if you say something like, how are your lady parts? Okay, first of all, Anyone who is fluent in English is going to understand that you're talking about somebody's part of their body, yeah. right? Female Foo -foo. genitalia. But the thing is, you could be, you know, a computer might take it much more literally, literally and go, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't keep lady parts in my cabinet. You know, that kind of thing. That might be the answer you get from an AI because it doesn't understand right. the context and the nuances of the language. Right, and so, Paul, another way of what I'm saying is because I'm kind of looking at the, hue, the, the picture of true artificial intelligence, which means... It a, a a sentient being. a sentient being mm -hmm. exactly is kind of what I'm looking at, and the idea is how are we ever going to know if that piece of machinery is really thinking? There's no way for us to know. It's like, but then I could also say, how do I really know you're thinking? Maybe yeah. you're just a robot and you're just answering. Him. So, I think that so the, like the first one exactly we're not going to know what happened. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. It, we're not going to know what happened when it happens. We're going to find out later on. Oh, that was that was the first one. But when would data start thinking? Is the question. When does he stop from becoming machine to an actual? When he's making sentient true being. decisions for himself. Right, but he's making true decisions for himself now. So would he pass the Turing test? You know, Steve Wozniak would actually argue that AI on a grand scale has already occurred, much like you're talking about, where it's kind of like we haven't really noticed it yet but he's saying that when you look at all of the number of devices connected to the internet and all of them working something yeah. like a neural that network just what i was gonna say damn you it. wind up with well, <laughs> steals his steve thunder. wozniak you know. <laughs> no not about steve about the internet and well the that singularity thing. guy what's the name kurzweil. ray kurzweil kurzweil says that because he's worked tremendously in artificial intelligence and he says that we never notice when something like that happens because we're already used to it because it's Technology, and that's what he's doing at Google right now. Is yeah. he's creating the next, uh, next generation? I guess better than Siri. But the is thing what is, mm -hmm. there are often very purposeful attempts uh, to do this, like with the uh, Jeopardy Watson computer. Um, that was very. It was task specific for one thing, yeah. but it exhibited what appeared to be somewhat human responses and it also exhibited like a bit of a personality it had kind of a sense of humor where sometimes it said something a little bit clever in a response and according to you know what the engineers say who worked on it is they didn't necessarily have a canned joke that this thing would do right the, the computer's programming would actually find relationships that fit a certain criteria where it looked like oh yeah. if i put these together someone's going to think this sounds witty so it's actually making associations that were not directly hard coded into it. Well, let's do a spectrum then, because I was go I was looking at sentient because I'm on the Kurzweil idea, but I think basically we can do a spectrum, which is artificial intelligence is any sort of thinking machine, which could be as simple as like a Roomba, a Roomba like going around. It, it <laughs> yeah. knows different all the way to a data or more to a data right. or a three PO or something yeah. human yeah. human like to a hu to a completely yeah. human like. Well, I so remember that's we'll in talk about some of the this. stuff that Paul posted. That they say now they're going, they're using Watson, they're repurposing it uh, for medical uh, okay. use. It's such yeah, a cool yeah. idea because what they're doing, I didn't read the article, and correct me if I'm wrong, they're getting it where a doctor can just basically say, hey, Watson, what do I do right. about this diagnosis and this? And Watson mm -hmm. will search the entire internet and everything it's connected right. to and, say, and come yeah. up with an I answer know, like it did great, for Jeopardy. That's a great well, idea. It's related to um, it's the ultimate symptoms. search engine. <laughs> because basically a, a big part of a doctor's job is you know, people don't, People who are uh, being rational about what's happening to them don't go to a doctor and say, hey, doc, I've got psoriasis or something like that, right? It's going to be like, doc, I've got this symptom, yeah. that symptom, and this other symptom. And it's up to the doctor to research it and find out all of the possible diseases that could cause those symptoms. And there are often so many that um, 
you know, some some diagnoses also some, have some a, asymptomatic things too, where it's going to be hard to home in on what specifically they have because they might exhibit certain symptoms, but then there are other things that um, a certain disease will exhibit that don't show up mm -hmm. in that case. So the idea of Watson doing this work is to, um, I, I understand what doctors do pretty often is that they have to uh, talk with their, um, with the other people in the practice. And, and say, also Look, maybe I have call a, a specialist. Too. Like they'll call a specialist, yeah. they'll call peers. all of their peers, right? Yeah. And they basically will bounce around ideas like, Hey, this person has this, that, and the other. Do you think it might be this? And they no, it's that. Else. Well, four to four so out of five is, doctors think that you have. <laughs> yeah, psoriasis. <laughs> yeah, like, so, wait, ball herpes. Ball herpes. <laughs> four out of five doctors think that you have. So, I think we can safely say that uh, artificial intelligence began with the computer revolution. Well, when computers first started in the forties. And it really wasn't going anywhere until about the 80s. And then when computers became more mainstream, now through the 90s, 2000s, we're actually getting Roomba, perfect yeah. example, is a very simple artificial intelligence that's mainstream. You can buy it to vacuum your floor. But we don't have like Rosie from the you Jetsons know, yet. Now that you're yeah. bringing it up, there's another distinction about this uh, gradient of different capabilities. Because uh, early computers definitely needed... A thinking human in the driver's seat because they weren't able to say form a mission plan for example right it's like the computer could do some calculations as like a giant calculator mm -hmm. and someone had to sit down and give it a problem to solve right. otherwise it would sit there doing nothing right uh, but then as computers advanced you started winding up with program agents and things with agency so I think that uh, something like a Roomba is a pretty good example of that um, embodied because basically the Roomba is something that has its own mission to clean your floor and it'll program itself to learn the room layout mm -hmm. and the most efficient pattern to follow to cover all the terrain. So it basically learns on its own, which is a pretty cool quality for uh, something that's just a pr running on a program. So I think that um, we're finding out, especially in the internet age, that more and more computers do things automatically. Yeah. Like, I don't have to be sitting in front of my computer for it to collect my email for me and then display it when I want to see it, right? So there are all these things that are automated now on the internet. And, and it in needs way, to be its own intelligence. because it's getting so complicated that our brains just can't handle it. So in order for the tools to... <laughs> That was yeah. Daryl's head exploding. Or we don't want to do those menial tasks. Yeah, and, and that's... And we don't want to do them, want, exactly. Yeah. And we can we can do other things, but well, I'm looking forward to took my having. Job. <laughs> took <your job. laughs> yeah, you're looking forward to do other things. I have what no idea that. Do? No, all I can say is took your job. job. <laughs> no, okay. The um, the the thing that David Eagle. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> David. The, well, okay. The 80s, 70s and 80s, people thought, oh, we're going to have robots in the near future. But then artificial intelligence kind of took a, a halt because it was more complicated than people thought. It's doing better now. Uh, but David Eagleman in uh, what book was Incognito was saying the reason why we've had such difficulty creating artificial intelligence is because the human brain works in a, in a way where there's multiple parts of it and they're all kind of arguing inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, one wins out. And in, uh, in computers, we have a program that says, do this, do this, do this, do that, instead of having multiple parts going against each other and one winning out. And he's saying right. that's what's missing. So possibly if people start looking in that well, way, which looking, I think Kurzweil is. a lot of neurons. We're just looking at like the little bits the ba of the basic difference is um, almost all the machines we make are a serial architecture. So there's basically one line of logic that just gets like processed really fast. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so the, but then the brain is massively you actually parallel. Need to pull back. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a parallelism because we've got things going on. And the thing is, you can dimensions. simulate parallel processing in a linear machine. It's, however, massively slow. You know, it's basically like saying, okay, you have billions of neural connections. Now let's simulate all of those billions of connections on a single line. So you'd have to process that line extremely fast for You're it to the land. And and actually, when it comes to certain tasks, this is one of the differences between computers and people. You know, obviously, you get a pocket calculator, which is a very slow computer compared to what a desktop or a laptop mm -hmm. computer is, or a tablet or a phone. But you can 
have it do a you know long multiplication or a long division, and the answer is almost instantaneous. So that kind of linear processing is has perfect data storage, and it's also very precise in terms of calculating math. When it comes to a human brain, the human brain's connections actually operate quite slowly, but it's the massive parallelism that gives us our capabilities. Now we have kind of fuzzy logic. Our memory storage is imperfect, and our ability to retrieve it is imperfect, and we don't have these perfect math skills, but we excel at other things that um, basically can be simulated in uh, heuristic algorithms, which a heuristic means that you have an algorithm that doesn't always give you the exact correct answer, but it gets you in the ballpark close enough that it's going to be a good enough answer. Well, isn't also heuristic by. learning? Uh, I mean, they can be used for learning processes. But, like, for example, just an example of a heuristic would be doing, like, facial recognition mm -hmm. in a picture, right? The heuristic algorithm isn't always going to pick out a face every single time, and sometimes it'll get a false positive. Like, you get a couple of lines on the wall that are just in the right spots, and it'll just think, that's a face. Yeah. So a heuristic means it's good enough to work, like, 99% mm -hmm. of the time, and 1% of the time it fouls up somehow. But most of the time, it's going to recognize Paul's face as Paul, Joey's face as Joey. So it's a, it's basically a quick shortcut that is less precise than an algorithm that doesn't work on a heuristic. You could use a, an exact algorithm that would take maybe thousands of times longer to process that would always identify you as Paul. Well, well the you use idea a heuristic is a shortcut that gets of, right like 99% of the time. The, the point of fuzzy logic is what really has made AI becoming it's making it become better because if you like a human you can give something besides yes and no uh -huh. and by doing that like you said into the ballpark yeah. that's more like human thinking and right. i think that's what's when i was reading uh, about the subject um today <laughs> that uh, that seemed to be a, a big jump forward mm -hmm. in the ability of ai well, it seems like there's a lot of good things that could be happening with AI. So let's start with that instead of the bad, evil things that could happen with AI. What, so what's no, all there's all never bad months. things that happen <laughs> with the What computers. are you guys looking forward to if, as AI becomes more uh, advanced? What do you think will be good about it? Well, one advantage is having <clears throat> machines with intelligence that can do the, like the dangerous jobs that us mm -hmm. humans, it's, it's, it could kill you, such as uh, you know radioactive waste, disposing mm -hmm. of that. Um, or in a uh, firefighter. firefighting or something yeah. like that. So it, it. Well, imagine also a world where maybe you'd never have to send another person to war again. Also, I mean, the choice of battlefield might encounter its own problems, but it might be a case where you know, I mean, we're already kind of going that direction by yeah, sending drones, drones and, and everything. Yeah. But they're piloted yeah. by people typically. There are some. I think there was an organization ones. that I read today that Just actually control the world. What? Nothing. Go ahead. That this this organization, I can't remember the name, but it oh is suing God. to make it so that it, it's illegal to have an autonomous drones. That huh. it, you have to have somebody behind the switch. Right. So, so has, they don't want to have an, an autonomous machine killing right. people. Right. They want to make sure there's somebody mm -hmm. there. Making and, kill well, that makes sense because I mean, what I'm sure their defense is going. To, you need to have. You need to have morals and ethics yeah. behind what you're doing. <laughs> I no. did that last time you did the Terminator <laughs> theme. <laughs> the way you do it is what like What was I doing last time? <laughs> <laughs> what was it I started doing? <laughs> the entertainers <laughs> last time you were doing that? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> No, we were doing Knight Rider, and you... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's what it was. <laughs> they got kind of sidetracked again. Sorry no, us? That. No, that never happened. never happened. Okay, so uh, for all you longtime fans of this show... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We love those two people. <laughs> yeah. Two? You're optimistic. Uh, you'll know that what I'm looking forward to you is... You damn part... religious fanatics, this is not a religion. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> It's for the freaks. Okay. They knew who they are. Okay, so uh, I'm looking forward to a personal assistant that can help my brain out because my brain is not 
big enough to do all took the R out of Mormon. Brains and balls. You know what would be funny? If we have one listener that has... Oh, wait, no, the... Oh, the M. You can't even do it to say it right. So wait a second. Is that like the gay religion? If you take the R out of Mormon? Mo- there? Mo- 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 Mo-man. 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 I am Mo-man. Of the hill, people. That's such a bad fail. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Epic. You took... Well, that's, that makes it hard to say now. You took the second M out of Mormon. That's just... That's, yeah. That's, yeah. This doesn't even sound right anymore. So if we have one right. listener with with multiple personalities, is that like a group? <laughs> <laughs> Does it count more than one? Yes. What if just hmm. so yes, a personal what if assistant? What AI on the internet is listening to us? <laughs> so it, what else is good? Kel, what are you looking forward to with uh, AI? What's the good thing? I'm, I'm good definitely thing? looking forward to a software agent that will I can tell it what I want, the information that I want. Uh, to follow, like, let's just say AI, to go out and find all the new cool things within the last six months that have talked about AI and bring it back and chronologically put it on in my inbox and uh, and then tell me when it's ready. So you want yeah. like you want like a Star Trek computer or it's a computer. Bring me all information on the right. Battle of Kittimer. I, I would like that no, a lot. Google's already... That's BS. I have to admit, yeah, I agree with you. Google is great. I, you can type, start to type in anything, and if you start to type it right, it comes up, what you're looking for. And well, it's, there's... it's pretty good, but I want it to do it for me instead right, of right. me But you also it. need it, and the AI needs to be able to filter out the crap. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's really the next that's, that's but when you're where you have to be thinking. When you're logged into Google, though, and you do a search, it's going to prioritize things based on your past preferences. Yeah. So the, there is started. kind of that's a, why everything comes with a the thing penis. is like after a certain point though I think a, I think that kind of thing can become a liability because it's it sounds nice right now to say I want the computer to serve me only the things that it thinks I'm interested in but it also kind of paints uh, you in, inside of a certain box yeah, of your true. thinking. Now, if the machine is already filtering the world for you and only showing you the parts of the world you want to see. It does kind of limit a little bit your discoverability of new topics and new interests. My understanding is that, that actually Google's already kind of doing that to us. Yeah. yeah, and and then you get like stuck in a bubble where you're, yeah. you know, like you might already think a certain way. Then you're only exposed to the things that propel and that type I, of thinking. I think that the programmers of Google and artificial intelligence are going to have to, and I'm sure they will have to reckon with that. And that wasn't the right verb. <laughs> you'll <laughs> have to. <laughs> hey, you don't want to get the uh, <laughs> minor here, the minor. And minor, there, there. So you need you need the AI to act like a librarian. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. To Instead of calling you up, Lita, <laughs> you know what? Instead of calling Paul for answers. You know what I found though? Uh, the thing we all want the Star Trek AI, AI where you say, "Hey, look up this." Or do this for me, but I found that even though there's voice prompts now, I don't want to use voice prompts a lot when I'm yeah. out in the you know if I'm on my own, yeah. it's fine. But most of the time, I don't want to be the guy going, "Hey, computer, yeah. I want to know what it's like to be in Egypt right now." <laughs> well, even today, am I bothering you? I think too. Yeah, Carmen. Today, I was <laughs> even tempted to use some voice prompts on my tablet, and I did at one point, and um, my connection wasn't working right, so I got the connection situated. Then I was going to try again, and someone else in the room was talking, and I was going to—I was in a position where to, you know, to say it again. I was going to have to ask them to shut up. Which yeah, is, you know, like you okay. Can. So I just typed it instead. Yeah, so and in, in the and the AI needs to really adjust to way the way humans speak and think because you watch Star Trek and they're looking for the information. They're saying like the full sentence, like "Computer, give me all information on the last battle of whatever, whatever, whatever." And it's like, I think as a real human, you'd be like, computer, um, <laughs> I need, like, information on, uh, 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 okay, <laughs> the Napoleon Script. on France, yeah. Spit so, it out, please. By the way, the whole, the whole thing about voice recognition, um, that's another good example of how, you know, human brains are so much different from machine brains. When a machine is fed a voice or just any sort of sound sample... The, so far, our current technologies have a very tough time um, isolating a particular sound. But yeah. people do it all the time with no problem. Like, if I want to listen to just Paul and yeah. we're in a crowded room, I can do that quite readily because my brain is designed for it. Yeah. And there are heuristics that get you kind of close to that. But that's one thing that when AI improves, yeah, 
and computers do become more human like then it won't matter well, if you're in a crowd yeah, that's also in a crowd when you're, talk when you're it, talking understands. like you're talking to me but I see your lips move too yeah. so I mean that helps too in, in, Google and in Siri understanding what you're and saying Kurtzweil, deciphering how about that has, I can hear you, but yeah. a little tough. Google, Siri, and Kurzweil, and all, they've done tremendous advances in uh, speech recognition. And it's gotten a lot better. Just over the past few years, it's been Dragon Naturally Speaking. Yeah, Hill. I use that all the time. It's great. And it's, and it's very accurate and very good. <laughs> the problem with the Star Trek computer thing is, what if you use computer out of context? Because that's what they always do. They say computer, and then they say, like, what if you're like, something like, uh, I bought this really crappy computer that f***ed me in the ass. And the computer's like, <laughs> the computer's like, see, it wasn't uh, me saying uh, it first. It wasn't uh, me. And the computer's all the computer, thirty-five, 35 minutes. minutes. All the computer <laughs> hears is computer <laughs> f- me in the ass, and then <laughs> thirty-five. So it's like, yes, sir, affirmative, and then you get f***ed in the ass by computer. And this big burly man comes out. I am a robot. I'm here to do you up the butt. Remember that episode of Star Trek? Don't send Joey to buy suppositories right before the recording. Okay. Just a reminder. <laughs> oh, I got suppositories up my ass. Yeah. I mean, I'm on my brain. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wow. So, what's bad about artificial intelligence? Well, we're just so bad. Bad intelligence. Bad, bad intelligence. Wow, this I is think so smooth. We also need to talk about that, as we've talked uh, previously about previously um, on cyborgs. <laughs> How we? Uh, oh, and how we're going to mer- merge with merge them. with yeah. them? And we talked I think a lot that's about a better choice, but I yeah. think I think that I'm I am. It's become one of my goals to live long enough so I can live longer, so I can merge with technology. I want artificial yeah. intelligence to be my intelligence because I want to expand my ability to. Yeah. And it'll go incrementally, think, you know, starting you with can, connections to our phones. Kale. You just haven't had enough time to talk because everyone cuts you off. So, oh. okay. You can I talk. uploaded my entire I'll brain my to a flash drive. Okay. Okay. Do, okay. Do you realize by helping him, you're cutting him off. Yes. <laughs> okay. and and I realized I was starting kill. to talk over him. And, I, I, and then like, you no, stopped no. and explained to him how you were talking over I him. I finished. Talking over stopped. him. I finished okay. and stopped. then he said it. <laughs> so I was already done. And by now, he doesn't know what he was going to say. So I exactly. think you can make the argument that this thing has already happened because we already have this kind of machine-human inter- um, relationship. Because we were all carrying, like, the majority of us anyway, are carrying around Ooh, smartphones. Right next to my junk. <laughs> and we, you know, Keep are looking at screens a lot of the time during the day. So we already have this thing where we're relying on our long term memory to be stored on this little device. And eventually that'll become integrated to where, mm-hmm, yeah. you know, it's like we just think about it like, hey, I want to save that uh, memory I just had. And then, boop, maybe you'll be able to sub vocalize it. Yeah, you won't even have to have it out loud to everybody. Right. We, you know, uh, we are you just like stick things something in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> the cheater. Yeah, oh. that's it. Uh, <laughs> South Park. Right? Watch South Park. Yeah, Seventeen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just I saw a picture of a phone the other day and I thought about it and I thought, wow, we are in the future because you, can you imagine trying to tell someone from twenty years ago this is a phone? Right. It looks like a flat square. It looks nothing yeah. like a phone, and it is of course a computer as well. But it's funny that it's a phone too. We just consider this a phone, but it doesn't look like. You don't okay, just think to, about phone. Who uses a phone? Just to who yeah, calls people? Emphasize what dinosaurs we are when we were going around with our video cameras recording Ooh. on analog video tape. It was heavy. Do you remember that we were like in the early days of recording that we all, all had these cameras with the viewfinder, right? The uh-huh. black and white viewfinder. Yeah. We were jonesing for getting a little pop out LCD panel. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, I remember when I first wanted to get one of those to add to my camera, not that it was built in or anything. Oh, it's going to be where you're hundreds of dollars. I see where you're going with for this. this little LCD, like two and a half inch screen that looked like that crap. would pop out yeah. of your video camera so that you could see a better picture of what you're filming. Right, but I'm not even talking about one that you attached to the camera because uh, okay. it didn't even have that. But now... But now we have these, you know, high <laughs> resolution... Now yeah. the pop-out part of the video camera includes the video camera. And it's like thinner... It has the integrated computer and everything and it's thinner than the screen alone used to be. It's well, because we're in the... Ooh, just there, pretty much. There's that... Uh, Famous picture, maybe I'll put it in the show notes, of uh, how <laughs> it shows show everything from the 80s and 90s that oh, are right. now integrated in there. Yeah. It's, it's just like a pile of just crap. It's got like a VCR. VCR. And a tape deck. Well, it's a communication yeah. device. It's not really a phone anymore. No. Yeah. It's really a But, I mean, that is, that's the common name. It's like yeah. Coke is soda. Exactly. And it's not even, a, it's not even a phone, though. It's a cell. It's a tricorder. Yeah. But it's, it's a cell phone, and we call it cell for short. So it's interesting. 
Where did that even come from? Cell phone. I mean, we didn't go with mobile phone. We didn't go with portable phone. We ended well, up with cell phone. Cellular towers. Yeah. They call it a Moby in uh, England. Do they really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and it's... Uh... It has nothing to do with dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Not, you is seemed the, like you were hanging there. The, for a second. Is it the same? Like a, like a, <laughs> like a hanging chat? <laughs> dick joke, go. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's your responsibility. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're fired. Kale, you're the new dick guy. Kale's the new dick. <laughs> it's an older dick, but How did I'll I get him a- through. <laughs> I took a wrong turn in life and ended up on this podcast. <laughs> I think I think what we, we all had hopes and dreams. The big and now thing we're is, is that this particular off track you started it. it is You've true, been doing yeah. that. I more. Said, <laughs> I said Moby. Yeah, but that's Could the you problem. Guys have thought no, of a no, late nineties electronic artist. It wasn't even the Moby. It was the uh, Dick. You know, when I, you said Dick. I have you to sidetracked say, us again. Speaking of sidetracking, <laughs> we get sidetracked more and more every episode. If we were so serious oh, the first few that's episodes. Oh, subject yeah. for next week. Being yeah, sidetracked. Being sidetracked. Side I like it! <laughs> <laughs> but Let's no. just make it official. The whole <laughs> damn podcast. I think, I think when we get to, like, 50, we just need to stop doing podcasts and just go back at all of them and just... Re-record re- re- them? Re- no, not re-record <laughs> them. Re-edit them. Oh, edit them. Yeah, that's a novel thought. <laughs> No, but the, our future fans are going to say that's messing with perfection. That's and right. You we're shouldn't gonna, do that. We're gonna yeah, because that's a, how they make art. You don't. That's we're right. Gonna, you don't, you gonna, don't fuck with art. We're going to Lucas our own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No time? <laughs> just me. You know, I'm going to have to just listen to all these <laughs> to figure out. That's it. It's a way to force Daryl to listen to them all I guess. again. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Remember Dick? Oh yeah! Kids? Dick? Oh. Dick. Dick. Where is it? It's not saying it. Try later on. Oh, damn it. What oh, is it? This is it. There it is. <laughs> Finally. All right. Uh, it was Paul, a long way to go, but I guess it was worth it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, Daryl, why are you throwing us off track with this movie? before crap? Sorrow Band took over, right? <laughs> Isn't that the the Mighty Morphin <laughs> Sorrow? Of, uh, oh, Sorrow Band or whatever. Saban? Saban. Saban. Yeah, Saban. Saban. Sorrow Men. Saban. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> they got the eye No, Dick right. Productions down in Berkeley, okay. right across the street from. <laughs> hey, hi! <laughs> hey, hi! Hey, hi! <laughs> That's, what, that's what his text was. That's what it was for. Yes. <laughs> to remind us. See, that's what it feels like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my head. Can you, can you segue back to it somehow? Like, speaking of dick. Aye, aye, aye! I don't know. This is, like, really bad. Like, bad things that could happen in AI. Nice! Up here! Hey, that's... Down low. That was... It was an attempt. Oh, get out of his lap! That was disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know where you were. Bad. I feel violated. I had to feel for it. Bad. I had to feel for it. Bad okay. things. Um, yes, AI. that was one of the thing about Bad the things. movie AI that it, the one that um, I haven't seen it. That was made by Spielberg. That it was disturbing in the way they they showed how we were going to treat. Artificial Those intelligence. AI have feelings. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. And, and, and yeah, because three people are scared. To death. Blade Runner has a similar concept and all that stuff. But yeah, well, will thinking machines that seem human actually have human feelings? And that's that's the problem that Kurtz Wilde comes across or talks about with the Turing uh, idea is when does a machine become what's the word self. Aware? Self-aware. Self-aware, but not just self-aware. That's why it was like in 1997. What? Right? Is that one of the machines? Oh, that was when I self-aware. self-aware, yeah. But how do you prove Freedom it? Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you, Optimus. So how do you prove... <laughs> sentient, thank you. How do you prove that uh, uh, if a if AI says, I'm sentient? Autobots, let's run Yeah, because out. then... Wait, is this, is this a disadvantage? <laughs> is this a, a disadvantage? Well, no, no. About? What we're talking about is if, if an... If a, AI becomes so this is sentient, ethics. we might mistreat it. You know, when Peter yeah. Cullen does And say, die, you're not sentient, and he'll be like, I'm sentient, how do you know he's sentient? Yeah, Maybe he's programmed have, to say I'm sentient. And do we have the right to shut him off, then? Right, or is he robot? I mean, you can watch, but that's, that's exactly what Blade Runner, 
Uh, I guess AI, I haven't seen it, but also uh, iRobot is another one. I mean, where uh-huh. they talk about that because it's it is a, something that could happen. 2001, yeah. Star Terminator. Trek, it's all part of their prime directive. Yeah. But no, it, the idea of artificial <clears throat> intelligence becoming so intelligent it becomes sentient, and then how do we treat them? They're no longer machines, they're actually other another race of beings. Mm-hmm. And once again, that's why we have to merge with them. Well, we're in with California, the- so we'll give them driver's license. Oh, topical! Up high! Yeah. Do not do that little kill. <laughs> yeah. right. No, that was too disturbing. Okay, yeah, there, I don't remind him of his topical. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Yeah, there's, a, <laughs> there's the basic. Keep po- going, Joy. There's the basic problem of AI beco- becoming more intelligent than us, not merging with us, and basically trying to get rid of us because we're mm-hmm. extinct. Like we well, you know, there's even there's there's a small we're not as not as where we're destroying the earth and stuff, uh, a disadvantage or, or a fear, is that all these robots will take over all these jobs and where people will be unemployed in the future because mm-hmm. one, one, 20 robots could do the same job as 200 humans, mm-hmm. you know, in a factory or or cleaning or, yeah. or whatever. Doing and just then, about anything and then they're having not yeah. creative. And they're even having AI do more creative stuff, more knowledgeable stuff, surgeries, uh, all that. At what point to where we won't need professionals anymore because the robots will be doing them? And, and where I, will we be? I think the, I, the more I th- We won't need professionals anymore because they will be doing them? But, <laughs> I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> An interesting thing about, about that is But like, will they have a union? Menial jobs you know, <laughs> wear people down and everything. So at what point, you know, if this happens where robots have feelings or whatever at what point can a robot be doing a mundane job and then experience boredom for example oh, it won't. Or, or dissatisfaction well that's the thing is that you know there might be a, a thing where certain ais are designed that they're just like worker ais they're not intelligent enough to ever get bored or have feelings yeah it's but not then like there, Wally. there are going to be other more personable robots that maybe could be guides or well, and know, i think that assistants. one of the one, Johnny Cab. one of the problems yeah. is yeah well, one <laughs> of the problems with ai with people thinking that they're going to want to take over the world and things of that nature is that they're considering they're going to be just like humans, which because we create them might happen, but you've got to remember that it's not just our brain that makes us human. We've got a whole endocrine system that helps control our emotions. You know, are we going to give artificial intelligence an endocrine system? They don't need it. Why would we do something like that? You know, why would it have a desire like humans have a desire because we have animalistic instincts from our evolution. We anthropomorphize everything. Yeah, we definitely do. Will. So maybe we will well, program it into them. So is it, what it's saying. like it's well, look at like war games, where they had it was just a computer doing the doing the game, but it was going to destroy the planet, and it didn't care. It didn't care. That's exactly. a good point too. Right. Ah, excellent point. Nice well, yeah, it's like Skynet doesn't. Skynet, care. Skynet, yeah. yeah. Well, no, but Skynet does care. Skynet wants to get rid of the humans because it's it's uh, sees them as a threat. It's what, afraid of us. Yeah, but like what Paul saying. is saying is. To the the computer on war games, it's just a war yeah. game. Its yeah. job was to defend the U.S. Right. It, we were under attack. It's yeah. doing what it's and supposed so it's doing to do. What it's supposed to do. So its lack of humanity is actually what's causing right. the problem. Yeah, that's one of the things too. Where um, humanity might be the thing that that you're right. It might be the thing that we imbue into machines that actually causes them to respect us as their forebears. Like. Mm-hmm. You guys created us, therefore you're like our god. Or we get the iRobot problem where they get intelligent enough to see the three rules as something different. Everybody see an iRobot or read the book? Mm -hmm. Where, of course, they they found that the three rules were supposed to be logically perfect to keep robots from from hurting us, but then the robot became intelligent enough to say, you're hurting yourself, so to protect you, we have to hurt you. So there's right. always the possibility that we think we're more intelligent and we put in these things that are going to hopefully help us. I think you need us. a safe word with those kind yeah. of robots. Pineapple. Like, like a, Definitely <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> From now on, if we're ever in this podcast and I'm done, I want this over with, I will say pineapple. Not that we'll do... That's we'll, my safe word! Not that we'll do anything about it. But no. <laughs> you can say it all you want. So have I will you ever save seen it. that movie Pineapple Express? Oh, 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 no. oh no! No, that's in context. But so we have to put a oh, we have to put a word. kill switch in everything. Like some pineapple some sort of. Well, that's that's one of the things that we could do. I think the only possible ending or possible way things can go is what Kale was saying: is that we're going to merge with artificial intelligence. It's just the way things are going to happen. It's what's going to happen, and then there will be no problem with them taking over or us taking over because we'll be them. Mm-hmm. And anyone who doesn't merge is going to be, as you heard from one of our first episodes, just the little germs of back. 
I think I said, this, about. I said this on the Singularity episode. But All I'm the Singularity? Just gonna re- <laughs> I'll reiterate that. I kind of think that um, logic and rational thinking dictates a certain leaning toward efficiency. And I think we're going to eventually shed a lot of humanity, like the endocrine system and all these other things you cited, emotions and stuff like that, as a consequence of seeking better and better artificial intelligence. It's basically right. going to be like, okay, we, ne- we want it to be better intelligence, we want it to be smarter, faster, more efficient, so we got to shed all these inefficient things that make us human. And, and I, I think that's just a challenging subject that we have to yeah. traverse at some point. And I will reiterate what I was saying about then, which is at that point, we'll be fine with it because we will have redefined humanity as something right. else. Because maybe right now we're you know, we're saying, wow, it's a good thing we're not like the caveman and we've, we've got enough this and that because we got rid of all the stuff the caveman had to do. And the caveman, maybe a thousand thousands of years ago, we're going, ooga booga booga, I hope we don't lose the ooga booga fire control, ooga booga booga. And <laughs> <laughs> What I'm, dialect was it? I can totally, I can totally tell Joey has been holding on to the time machine because he's obviously been there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooga booga. Ooga That's booga. It. Or he watched Quest for Fire one too many times. I'm just saying that the caveman, caveman. who the caveman. we, caveman. the yeah. caveman who we are no longer, Those two may have, may have, so well. <laughs> may have been scared that they would lose like their big frontal forehead or something and say, can you imagine the future that our evolution will get rid of the big frontal forehead and now we don't have it, we're okay yeah. with it because here we are without it and we're well, happy. I we just want, we see, wa- it's, uh, go on. I'm going to say, ethically, we want, um, we want evolution in technology. We but want what, that. Do, what if we stopped the, like, in the video head, what if uh, we stopped the printing press? But Dar- How that didn't change the world. Right, right. But what Daryl is saying is it's far in the future Whatever we turn into might be so different from what we are now oh, that yeah. who we are now would think it's an abomination of humanity. Right. But the people at that point will be like, this is just humanity. Back then, yeah. you guys were way back then. That was stupid. But I don't, I don't see how this progressing um, intelligence turns into anything besides something very cold, hard, and rational. That's because well, you the, like this. I think year what we're going to find out as we get rid of, like, let's say we get rid of emotions. I think you, we're going to find out why we need them. Huh. Ooh, ooh, Whoa, that's deep. Dad. <laughs> deep, dude. Get out of, get out of here. That's, like, that, that's <laughs> a please. fortune cookie. So that's your, please withdraw that's from your, Paul, next, you're That's yeah. your sci-fi book you have to write. Is that it's my about next these one? emotionless yeah. beings in the future, and they're going, we realize the importance we'll of see. emotions. You know what? But that, now, you know we what? don't have any. You know that's what? actually that, a theme in a lot of science fiction. Is that a lot of... How do we recapture No, that always happens. The aliens always come to Earth. And they're technologically advanced, but they don't have the spirit or the humanity that we have. Because they want to see the reality show that is the human race. Right, but what ends up, <laughs> yeah. what ends up happening is that the, the aliens can't solve this problem, and the humans can because we have this passion yeah. and the desire. Well, that's, that's actually true. done a that's lot like, of sci-fi. We're already yeah. kind of expressing, people call it the their Holy Ghost or the, the voice that speaks to them. When I say them. Holy, you say Ghost. <laughs> ghost. <laughs> is that what it is? Mustards. is it's Ghost. you telling Busters. yourself. Ghost. There's not anybody outside your head saying anything. It's you communicating with your own subconscious. And emotions help us communicate with our subconscious. And I think that's where it's going to go. Somehow, we're going to need emotions so that we can continue to communicate with ourselves. But then again, at some point else. along the way, you know, if there's this massive machine and there's so much integration between people, it just might be this experience of mass euphoria like everybody is integrated in a network and we're all happy because we're such a community and we have such good communication that's what so that's what matrix? heaven's supposed to be maybe I, well actually but here's the thing why i don't think that's going to happen like wally because no i think that's not going to happen because we have the ability right now to take a wire and hook it up well, not everybody, but we could do this. Hook a wire up to our pleasure center of our brain and push a button and right. forever be in a state of X. Ex- okay, ecstasy. where can I sign up for this? Oh, well, <laughs> and and actually, a lot it's, of people it's, feel it's actually like unethical, that. but it, no. it was done. Okay. You know what? No, you know what they said was done in one of the books we read, Kale, was that before they knew it was a problem, they, the psychologist actually did hook up to a human brain Actually did. Did he get insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Actually did hook up. Joey just threw his cell phone. Yeah. Oh, he threw his Moby his across. Moby. <laughs> Actually did hook up the the uh, to the pleasure center of the brain, and people kept doing something that they they didn't really want to do, and they didn't describe it as pleasure. Yeah, they yeah. described it as a feeling of needing to do something. 
more and, and right. it overwhelmed everything else, but they didn't like it. They just felt the desire and the need to do it. It wasn't pleasurable. They just had that desire. It over was and over showing again. what Atlantic. addiction is. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Behavior. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. As soon as you ever really just I said, to scratch as we your go damn along, nose and you as we go along, to. we're going to find out yeah. a lot of interesting things that that our brains do and need to do, and the good things we're going to continue to have, and the bad things we're going to actually <laughs> going to get rid of, as well, we always do. That's like uh, where we're at in society today is so much better. A lot of people like to say, yeah. oh, the golden age or the, the uh, what's a savage? Uh, they always say the pure savage or whatever they call it. No, what is there it? There is not. The Wild West. No, they always say, oh, uh, back in the old days. Back in the yeah. old Things days. Things were so much better were back then. They were. They were. They were. Comic books were. This is dollar. the best. It is. It is the best time in civilization yeah. that it will has ever been. continue to be the best time. And that's, it's and that's always, yeah, right. it's people, always. People use that as an excuse, though. I even heard it today because that lady... Uh, you know, she tried to ram the White House or whatever happened, and there was they shot her crazy. Yeah. Pervert. Well, but anyway, uh, the thing crazy is, crazy cougar. One, one of the ladies, one of the ladies, <laughs> I've been to the website. One of the people said, you, one of the people interviewed said, "Man, it's just getting horrible today. You just can't walk around in the street anymore." And it's like, no, it's always been like this. But people say that all the time. It's actually safer now. It is. Two hundred years, you know. Thirty years 30 ago, thirty years ago, there was worse crime and, and danger yeah. in the street than there is now. Well, a couple of things highlight this difference where people have the perception that there's more crime because we have twenty four hour a day news yes. coverage. Yeah, that's it's true. always focused and everyone's on the online. worst aspect of everything. Yeah. Like, um, of course, you're not going to. I think the other day someone said to me that like, oh, people microwave their babies and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, that happened. Is a terrible thing, but I mean, but. What? It's like one person did oh, this. Oh, somebody did that? Somebody did that? Yeah, it, it, it's terrible. Oh, Look I, it up I think sometime. I do That's remember hearing but about But the thing that. is, like, you know, you hear about one person All doing right, it. All right, and you're like, these days, like, people microwave like their babies. the whole baby. U.S. Yeah. does this. Everyone's, like, yeah, everyone's a pedophile like everyone's now. Everyone's doing it. Everyone, no. it, it's yeah. like just because you're watching, everyone's you know. Everyone's being kidnapped. Just because you're watching murder porn doesn't mean you're going to kill your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> Did you hear Butter's Butter Dad killed his mom? I know, but that was because of. Uh, but that just happened in. Uh, yeah. Snuff films. What's it called? Is that what you're talking about? That happened in. Uh, what's the video game called? Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. You have to watch. South Anywho, Park. Do not watch uh, South Park episode, season two. seventeen, episode two. T right. <laughs> bot. Right. Stan. So Stan. I, I think two with. How do you tame a horse in Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's continue. So I think when as AI grows, you know, it's humans make developing <laughs> that. So there's always going to be humanity put into it, infused into everything that we build. Yeah, I think so. I think so. The, so what? What other bad? I mean, are there, it seems like there's more good things than bad things. Are we just optimistic, or are can you guys? Think well, we're of, definitely optimistic, yeah. but uh, you know, the Terminator scenarios. Uh, you know, you can always go into there. Yeah. Don't. But I, 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 we have to move forward. I don't, I don't think that we, should. Yeah, because of the, the fear of can't go back. robots you taking over the world. Is, Two bits. Would that was like the Roger Rabbit version. Over. <laughs> so the fear of robots taking over the world is not big enough or enough of a reality to not to stop working on AI. Actually, yeah, I, I'd be more. What I'm more scared about is the gray, gro gray goo from the. Um, nanobots. nanobots. I can see that as more of a problem than artificial intelligence yeah. becoming well, a... I sort of think that, and this is back to the sim singularity argument I made, that if the um, intelligence always seeks to double and triple and you know increase its capacity, I think it winds up as an intelligent gray goo in the long run. Yeah, you Even know, if it's not out of control, it's basically going to be like in its thirst to maintain Moore's law, so to speak. There... there also, it would just keep going and going until it absorbs all of the material it can find in the universe and turns it all into a processing unit. How about this for artificial intelligence? What about the possibility that, unlike what you're saying, where intelligence gets more and more advanced, what if there is a ceiling? And that's because what's actually happening is the conglomeration of all the intelligence that there is creates a, another level of intelligence, kind of like you're saying. So let's say... Um, all the beings on Earth create 
a being which is earth and we're all part of it it's kind of like the cells and parts it's of like our a body hive mind right exactly but if you think about our body it's not necessarily even the hive mind it's just different parts doing their jobs and they're not advancing they're not becoming more advanced necessarily maybe slightly but they're doing their jobs so maybe there's will no be no more advancement. we just are going to make some huge being and then we just stay at a, well the thing is even if if the intelligence Per, like yeah, it's true that eventually you get down to an atomic level and you might um, create the perfect structure for a logic unit. The thing is, you create one human mass worth of it, well, two human masses worth of it is going to be twice as effective. So it's, it would base even if it reaches that plateau, it would just seek to expand its mass. Mm -hmm. I think to become more intelligent. Yeah. So two heads are better than one, so on and so forth. But then it becomes you know then we come to the idea of individuality. Two. That's why black holes are intelligent, and they're absorbing everything. We are so 80s. <laughs> dun -dun, dun. Uh, but it comes to the uh, area of individuality. Like, will you want to, if there's two humans, do they want to merge together to become something more? Or will they rather oh, yeah. be <laughs> Always, always. Yes. Look, dude, you, you had happen. to take it there. <laughs> of course you did. Of course. T-Bot wants to merge with you. Every Darryl, time you say I keep been hearing like, T-Bag. I keep hearing T-Bag. Daryl has been playing with T-Bot, not T-Bag, but it might as well be T-Bag because he keeps putting the freaking wheel out and rubbing it on things. My son and, plays with that toy. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, it's been infested with Daryl's oh. perviness. Oh, input ports. Input. <laughs> input. Okay, so uh, what do you, you guys want to add anything else about our, our very <laughs> technical discussion of artificial intelligence? <laughs> I think that it is growing. Must have more input. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's very hard to create. No, you were fired. Go. <laughs> I can't. I, are we getting paid here? <laughs> no, he was hired from Dick Guy. The oh, guy is now Kale. You know, Kale. Okay. <laughs> With your yellow shirt and you look like a lifeguard. I look like a lifeguard? I thought you were going to say like, Ronald McDonald. He looks like Ronald McDonald on the weekend. No. <laughs> casual <laughs> Friday McDonald. Casual, <laughs> casual Ronald. He's like, okay, okay, I need to get a phone. Hey, 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 yeah. the show notes. hey, Ronald, why didn't you put your makeup on today? Yeah, it's casual Friday. It's casual yeah, exactly. Friday. Let's go. Where are the big shoes? I yeah. came in barefoot. <laughs> Without the makeup, you're just a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Where before you were a clown pedophile. Oh, okay. like, oh god! You're, you're pushing burgers. <laughs> okay, pedophile Ronald McDonald, give me a pose. Oh yes! He's, he's oh, trying, do it! Oh trying. yeah! Oh right there! Oh oh yeah, baby! Oh do it, baby! Yeah! Oh, oh baby! Yeah! Oh 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 oh, oh, oh yes! Oh give it to me! Give it to me! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh we're gonna put these up on. Shall we turn into this? Is automatically uploaded to Google Plus? <laughs> Actually, yes. Oh yeah, that's a that's oh an artificial God. intelligence right there. Yes. <laughs> now, how wise was that maneuver? <laughs> Let's find out. So I, I'm looking forward to more AI doing tasks that I don't want to do. I really, exactly. I want, for one thing, I do want to buy a Roomba because I hate sweeping the floor. Roombas are awesome. Uh, I'd like to get. We've got a, a Roomba, but its battery dies. It goes for like it goes, and then it stops. Oh. So we need new batteries. Must so. be a government worker Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a, little, there's a little robot union. A little robot union. They go on right strike. There, didn't they? <laughs> well, uh, 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 uh. Was, anywho. Oh no, it's. Are you sure about this whole thousands of billions of people think? I don't think well, anyone. Either that it. or the humanity is basically gone, and there's only the computers, and now they're they're replaying this to show why humanity they don't need gone. to have humanity. Uh, I think we'll hey, end on that note. This is the example of. Oh, you remember the good old days, do you? You listen to this. This is shit. what they were really like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So, my artificial day, intelligence. My floppy. Yeah. No. <laughs> no Bad <laughs> Paul. It turned your fire. Kale. Dick joke. Go. How high? <laughs> Dude, you're fired. <laughs> Daryl, next week you're dick joke guy. You better make it work. Okay. <laughs> next week. All right. You got to wait to think. I'll about be it. ready and willing. <laughs> Good start. Uh, right. I, I like your, I like yeah. your enthusiasm. Hey, just wait till the finish. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's pretty good. 
Ah! You two, no dick jokes. <laughs> All right. So also, next week, like it's my we choice. the shaft. <laughs> hey! And we took it from behind. Oh! No! 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 You're not allowed! You must stop with Joey's, your dicky dick jokes. Joey's yeah. teasing with this thing so much, I'm turning purple. <laughs> A purple nurple. Okay, this isn't any good. I'm the only one not doing the dick jokes Oh, now. I can see the vein come out of your neck. <laughs> That's not my neck. <laughs> All right. Next week, our topic oh, yes. is yes. dick jokes. No. <laughs> All right. Wow. Dick Clark. We have such I know you're right. Dick Clark, yeah. Oh, he's, I guess, I guess Morgan Wait, Freeman died, wasn't the he? only one who had a stroke. Dick Clark died? Dick Clark. Did he dick die? Yeah, Dick Clark's yeah, he gone. He died? Oh. Yeah. No. Well, you know, he still like, doesn't look like he's you dead. You know who took his so. plague was, was Mike, uh, Mike Hawk. <laughs> Mike Hawk, that's right. Mike no, did Mike it, Hawk. Mike it, Hawk? Mike, Mike Hawk. Also known as Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> so didn't Dick Clark look like he died at like the age of 40 because he always looked 40? Yeah. That, he was, that's what I'm saying. He's He may be dead, but he still looks still good. Still moving on. Yeah. He was a clone. Okay, next week. <laughs> okay, what's the topic? Yes. Topic. For real. I have the first shh, shh. incoherent rambling challenge. Uh-oh. We talked about it a little last week, and I want to try to make a thing think about it. This is a challenge to make dick jokes. <laughs> Climate change. Because I'm trembling. Here. Climate change. Climate change. Oh, okay. This is what I want you guys to do. I am under the impression, not having researched anything, my gut feeling is that climate change is not man-made or extreme enough to be much of a problem. If it is not man-made, then it's a cycle of the um, of the earth, and we just have to deal with it. What I want you guys to do, because you told me last week that the evidence points the other way. I have no evidence to back this up. This is based on just what I've heard here and there and, and just kind of what I feel like. I want you guys to try and show me what you can find that would convince me. But that includes the other side. Because the main thing I want to know is, why are there two sides to this? That's the big thing. Why are there two sides to this? This is a scientific thing. Why am I hearing both sides? Why is there religion? Yeah, well, exactly. People are idiots. Well, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Kale, you well, and I... Okay. Why is this guy blue? It's a, it's a popular kind of denialism. Well, no, no, no. That... Next week. But, 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 next but... week. We'll talk about it next week. <laughs> All right. I want you to tell me why this is, why it's not... Because Kale and I, I remember we talked about it. We used yeah. to think it was... I just went limp. Kale and I used to think... <laughs> Kale and I... <sighs> He's doing his job. He's responsible to start next week. Don't Kale. do a mistake. Kale and I used to think it was climate change or global warming could was, be premature. Was just yeah. a cycle of the Earth and not man-made. But now, Kale, you're kind of on the other side of the issue because it seems that's where science is. So I want to see how you guys you can can Sounds help me good. see that. Okay, All right, so that's like the that. challenge for next week. So I'll kind of bring up my idea, but once again, it'll be from a totally area of well. See, I didn't know that the question was rhetorical. It, no, it's, like, it's not rhetorical. It's why are week. there two sides? It's, it's for next week. It's lit okay. plan. All right. Well, just a, a little preview <laughs> that climate change okay. is man-made. We all have swamp ass, and it's all because of us. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul's fart. The <laughs> okay, let's end today with the swamp ass song. Swamp ass. Swamp ass. Swamp ass. Swamp ass. Swamp ass. Swamp ass. We did not put the email in the intro. Swamp we also didn't say who we were. Swamp ass. And now we're going to have an outro where we don't say anything. Are sweaty. What? Swamp ass. Drip, drip stick, from stick, my stick, crack. Sticky, sticky, this is Toby Shamble. Oh, no, no. Your host no, for Swamp Ass. No. Also with us is it's Paul Huttinger. Swamp, Swamp Ass. Swamp this is a train wreck is what this and is. Swamp and don't forget that you can reach us swamp. at show swamp. at IamRambling.com. Oh, I love forgot about that. Ass. And I'm Zero. Oh, that's George.com. Oh, swamp it ass. Oh, all of us slap my swamp ass. By just ass. going to Google. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from incoherent ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish.